buttons. I see some people in the chat already. Welcome to my studio. Oh, that's so fun. Thank you for being here. So today we're going to do the jack-o'-lantern. I'm going to grab it. I did this sketch. So I have a little color of where we're going. My cat is in the studio, of course, because we're doing something new and she doesn't know what's going on. And she's chewing on my brushes. I'm, I don't think I'll show you. And then I have Emily here. She's helping me with the chat. Oh, and I've got to turn down my iPad because I just heard myself. So if you're just joining us, hey friends, you can hear the cat meowing and I'm gonna pick up my phone. It's gonna be a bumpy ride, it's gonna be noisy, so you might wanna turn down your volume and advert your eyes and hang on to your seats. Okay, here we go, guys. So what I did, can people hear me? I don't even know if people can hear me. Okay. Oh, it's so weird because it's, it's a delay. Mm -hmm. So, here, I'm going to turn this oh, sideways. Geez, looks good. <laughs> <laughs> so, I painted this with, oh, the angles are so weird, you guys. <laughs> so, I painted this with navy blue and Mars black on the background. This is prism violet down here. And then this is just gray and white, mostly uh, Mars black and white. And I went ahead and got it started in case we had any trouble. <laughs> Okay, and then I'm going to set it down. Emily, you keep an eye on me to make sure I'm in frame because I had tape down to make sure I'd stay in frame. The traceable's on my website, AnnieTro.com. Oh, sorry, I'm like watching my iPad and there's a delay. Yeah, you shouldn't watch. And then um, I just traced or scribbled on the back with black charcoal and then white charcoal down here so that I could see where it's going. And I think the biggest part of this, other than just hanging out and having some fun while we learn how to do lives, is that it's hard to cover orange and yellow over that dark color. Oh, here. I don't know. Sometimes people want to know brushes. I have a uh, 3 8 inch Royal Lang Nickel Angle. It's a brand new one. And then that's a liner brush from Royal Lang Nickel. This I got on Amazon. It's a number four. Oh, sorry, I'm bumping the camera with my leg. A number four Zhu Zung. And then this is a little flat from Royal Lang Nickel. It's about a quarter inch. And then this is like a number one Simply Simmons round. Okay, I just got paint on my finger because I'm working backwards. <laughs> so the biggest tip, if you're newer to painting, I don't know which brush I want to use, is to paint, I'm going to do a little yellow and white here, is to paint white and shades of white and gray over the pumpkin area. Actually, I don't need to do the eye. Let's do, so where am I going to have my light coming from, everybody? Should I have it coming from the left? So see, if we cover it with white, then it'll be so much easier. I'm still laughing about our fiasco. <laughs> It'll be so much easier. If you notice, I put tape basically where you can. So to your water jar, the one with the tape on the bottom. Look at you in real oh, life. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then um, on the very edge is as far as you can go on like your paper towel, towards your iPad. Okay, like right there. Yeah, I, I put tape everywhere that you're basically in your constraints. I wonder if I could just enlarge the chat and not have the video going. On yeah, my... I'll see if I can do that for you. My iPad. That's okay if we can't figure that out. I just won't look at it. Mm, probably not because you, now you're just a viewer on this iPad. Okay. <laughs> I hope you guys are laughing with us. <laughs> you know, so if you're learning to paint, we're learning to video. It, it's clear as mud <laughs> to us right now. You know, we tested it, but I didn't actually test how it was going to work on my art table. I, and I tested it this morning, but it looked like it was going to work. Just funny. So I'm just getting some white down. Here, I'm gonna, oh, oh no, Emily's going to mess with it some more. Pull it back a little bit just because. Is my, your... is my hand in the way? No. But that'll give your leg a little more room. 
Yeah. Oh, Emily's mic, so you guys can hear her, I bet. I, I'm so glad you're here. <laughs> yeah, that would have been a, that would have been a stress if I wasn't here. I am so glad you're here. And I already said hi to my dad, but hey, dad, I know he's watching. I don't think he has a YouTube account, so I don't think he's in the chat. And then, hey, Chase man, Emily said you're we're watching. <laughs> Thanks for the help. I appreciate it. Yeah, There's I'm nowhere but up from here. Is that how this is gonna go? Yeah. There's nowhere but up. Okay. Do you have like you have a little bit more room with your leg? <laughs> oh, but not oh, much. No, but so not much. <laughs> Sorry, guys. But it's at least a little straighter on the. Yeah, that's a kitty wampus angle, though. I know. Should I turn it? Oh, the other way. I should turn it this way. Well, technically, we should straighten out this. Arm. So I should quit moving the painting. Yes, yeah, stop moving the painting out of there. I'm so glad this is a pretty simple painting. It's just more for fun. And then we're gonna we're only gonna hang out an hour. Um, because we don't know how long it'll take to upload, you know, I don't know. We just don't, I, mostly because we don't know how much battery life we have, how long it'll take to upload. You know, we're learning. This will get way better. It is a little weird to paint like this. I want this a little higher, but I don't want it. Well, I don't, I want it closer because they can't really see. Oh, okay. If you want it closer, I can bend it closer. I feel bad bending it while they're in there. <laughs> I know. They're probably going, Whoa. Well, I have to figure out how to use my other video arm. I don't think we can. You have to move the arm itself. You won't be able to, probably. Oh. Is that better for you? Well, I'm just thinking, you know. It's just like two seconds behind, so. I need to move it down a little bit. Oop. Don't watch this when you adjust. <laughs> Here, you need to push it just a hair. There you go. I think you're good. <laughs> I think you're good. We'll figure it out. Yeah. Well, I feel like now, like we're way behind. <laughs> so I actually want a little gray up here because there'll be a hat, a shadow from his hat. And I'm just using a little filbert because I grabbed it. So there's really not a whole lot uh, to this. We want the highlights here. I don't know if I want quite... Oh, here, can you, you can't see my... Oh. Here. I'm going to mess Emily up again. That's fine. You can... It's decently straight. It, I mean, the angle's a little funny now, but we'll... It's still funny. But it's not that bad. Well, see, and I don't, um, I had somebody ask me uh, in a YouTube comment why I don't have my paints on the right because I'm right-handed. Well, here's a good example because I'm going to drag my hand through my palette. Um, so, and when I'm painting at my easel, I hold my palette in my left hand and grab paint with my right. So, I mean, it might be backwards for you. Of course, do what's comfortable for you. But I like having my paint on, my, on the left. Actually, I could move it. Couldn't I? Yeah, whatever. You can scooch the painting to your... <laughs> My tape reference that doesn't apply anymore. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you got that back. Oh, yeah, that's a good spot. You you put it just on the... That's Oops. as far as you can go on the... Um... Oh, I can go further. Well, yeah, but that one where you stuck your, ta your stray piece of tape on the right is, oh. is about where your... About where I could go? Where your frame ends, yeah, on that one side. Oh my God, go. I hope people are laughing and I hope, I mean, I think it's funny. I mean, of course, we're not gonna think of everything. We've never done it before. I mean, it's, this is definitely why you should cut yourself slack if you're a brand new painter. You're just gonna learn as you go. You can't, you know, there's just no way you're gonna know what you like, what, how, what works. You know, my art, darn art table is wiggling and I'm trying not to wiggle it. And then I'm not a fast painter, so I think one thing good about the lives that you kind of get a little hint at in the videos is I'm not real fast. I'll have to post on Facebook the final painting because it's, oh, it's only 12.15. We might do okay. Do you see that blue box in the chat, Mom? Oh, Chase. Chase, man. <laughs> Thank you. Chase just 
He gave you a super gave chat. Me, thank you, a super chat. See, I yeah. don't even know the language. Which is why Emily's here helping me. On, <laughs> and that's why we're doing it on a lunch hour. Because then she can be here. Oh, thank you, Chase. I got $5 for all the shenanigans of trying to get it to work. <laughs> you got $5 for making him seasick. Yeah, for making him lose his lunch. We don't want to be too graphic or too gross. <laughs> Whether we're live or not. So I'm just thinking shadow up here. I don't know. I was thinking maybe I might make that a little lighter. I don't want to totally lose my mouth. I've got it sketched in there. So one thing I think these lives are going to be good for me is I'm going to paint a little more loose. I would normally paint this pretty tight. You know, small brush, little brush strokes, really controlled, all that kind, all those kinds of words apply. Oh, this is so funny. It's hard for my brain to paint in a different way. Oh, now I'm complaining. I don't need to complain. I'm so happy you're here. I'm so happy I have... What do we have, Seven Emily? Seven people watching. Oh, seven people mm -hmm. watching. How cool. And we have uh, over a thousand subscribers, and we were able to get monetized, which, which helps. I mean, you know, I never thought we would do this well. I don't, like... I mean, there's just other people doing painting videos and things. I just never thought we would do so well. I'm really excited about it. I'm really excited to get to know more of you guys and and do more art projects. Oh, I'm gonna when I get this painted, I'm gonna show you what's coming up. I want to thank people who have sent money to uh, support the channel. There's just a couple. It won't take very long. I just kind of want to get some color down here. Now you can tell I'm thinking. Freckles left. There was a bonus. She left. <laughs> she went from chomping on the brushes to leaving. Oh, do you see another? Um, I'm trying another. to paint. Yeah, I know. But there, there's a Cindy. Oh, and Cindy. She... Um, I suppose, I, how would you say her last name? Nicole. I don't know how to say that. We'll say Cindy N. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> um, I'm a little embarrassed. I We thought we were ready. But no, I'm not going to be embarrassed. It's no different than being like a brand new painter. We all have to learn one step at a time, right? It's just how life goes. It's kind of messy sometimes. Okay, I think that actually looks pretty good for getting some color down. I love this pump. This jack-o'-lantern needs a name. I name everything. Um, and I love that I... So when the kids were young... And instead of giving teachers gifts at Christmas time, I would paint a small pumpkin, like a, like a pie-shaped pumpkin. And then I would always paint, you know, cute faces with candy corn noses. And then, of course, the teachers, I think, really liked them because the pumpkins would hang around for a couple months and then rot, you know. Um, but it wasn't like another ornament for their tree. It wasn't another, you know, they could enjoy it and then be gone. So I don't know how many years I did that. Um, Gosh. All the way through my elementary school. But I think we kind of stopped when I got into middle school. Yeah, I think I stopped when Jack got into middle school. I don't think we gave any. Because at that point, then you have like, I would, I would have a teacher for each different subject. And that was kind of a lot. That is. So, so I'm just going to grab a little white and a little orange just to get some paint down here. But also see the difference. So I don't lose my road, my road map. <laughs> I'm thinking about our fiasco. That was quite, I thought it was going to be so smooth, you know, just a little short, bumpy ride for everybody. But that was a really long, rough road we took them on. What's nice is we can trim that part out in post before, when it, we can edit that little chunk out. Oh, and just not upload it right away? No, you can upload it and then you can um, edit that bit out. Oh, in YouTube? Yeah. We'll let it upload, and then on my computer I can... So now people are really out. finding out how much you helped me with all the technical stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I show up and talk and paint. Emily does all the heavy lifting, which is so nice. I, I wouldn't be doing it if I didn't have her help. 
I might now on my own. She's she's brought me far. <laughs> but I think it's been challenging for her. I always think I'm pretty good with computers and computer li literate, and then it's like, oh, there's always stuff you don't know. Okay, how does the mouth go? Let's look at our traceable quick. Oh, yeah, I've got a little. I'm just going to put it in so I don't lose it. Am I, how am I on camera? Oh yeah, I've got room over here. Yeah, you're, you can, yeah, you could push your paints off a little more if you wanted, <clears throat> but you don't have to. Oh, I didn't run through the colors. Did I run through the colors in that? <gasps> nope. nope, I don't remember. And, and I did the brushes. <laughs> but like, okay, things went off course pretty fast there. So Mars black, titanium white, cad yellow, medium. I'm thinking I'm gonna mix a, a lighter orange with the yellow. Uh, Cad orange, raw sienna, raw sienna, lime green. They're all Liquitex. Some of them are basics and some of them are heavy body. Uh, a little hooker's green in case I want to make the green darker. And then uh, medium pink, Doo -doo -doo. medium magenta. Uh oh, I just knocked my. Oh, you know, I say this in every video. Of course, use. I'm grabbing a little water here because it wasn't flowing. Um, use whatever colors you have. That's just what I'm doing in case you want to use some of those colors. Okay, I'm going to get the mouth in here. And then we'll let it. It's already kind of drying. I've got fans blowing, which helps. That's cute. And I think I like it that it's kind of blobby. I may paint over it when I do the orange. That gives it a little more character. Oh, I want to paint in that eye so it can dry. You know, I watch other YouTube artists to see how they do things to try and learn and not make the same mistakes. Um, a lot of them say, okay, we're done, and then they're not. <laughs> I just did that. Oh, and I don't know if my left hand's in the way. It was good. It was fine. You could leave it there. It doesn't, if that helps you, it's okay. Oh, I don't know. It just, it just kind of, yeah, I suppose it does. I just kind of landed there. It's going to be, that corner of that eye is going to be a little hard to paint over if I don't get a couple coats of white on it. And while we're at it, might as well get another coat there. You can see, so I was uh, in a beginning acrylic painting face group, Facebook group. And this person, well, rightfully so, was complaining that, um, you know, their white wasn't covering. Well, I don't, I, I only use Liquitex, so I don't know other brands. But it can take two or three coats just to cover. But you can use that to your advantage, because now I kind of have a shadow already on the candy corn part of my nose. So it's not always bad. All right, I just wanted to take a quick second while that, make sure that's dry, and say thank you to people who have sent money to support this channel. It just amazes me. I am, I can't, thank you isn't a big enough word. It just means so much to us. So Sonia P, thank you, thank you. Victoria W, thanks bunches, and Gina M. I really appreciate, whoops, I just bumped the camera. <laughs> I really, really appreciate your support. Um, it bought a second microphone so you can hear Emily today. I, it just, it means a bunch to us. Okay, oh, and oh, as long as we're doing a little commercial here. Uh, Friday, this coming Friday, August 20th, I'm giving, oh gosh, I'm giving this away. Can you see it? It's a six by six Queen Anne's Lace impressionistic painting. It has little bees in it. It's an original. It's on Michael's canvas panel. I've signed it on the back. The title is Because. So it, it's on Facebook only, just so I can find everybody. And I just need you to comment so I can see that you're there. And then I have random.org pick the winner. So it's on my Facebook business page. If you want to enter, it fr starts Friday, August 20th and runs through Sunday, August 22nd. And then I pick the winner on Monday morning. I have random.org pick the winner Monday morning, August 23rd. So you guys get a heads up. You'll know that's coming. You can enter to win if you want. I can only ship to the United States. 
And then legally, I can only run giveaways in the United States. Oh, you know what I'm going to do here? So this is a kneaded eraser. You see me do this in a lot of videos. My art table is probably going to shake. It just makes it easier to cover. You don't have to do this. It just makes it a little bit easier. Oh, gosh. I just thought of another thing. This one's posting really soon, and it has a traceable. I don't know if you can, I can get this in frame. It's a pumpkin. It's black-eyed Susans. I can kind of get it in there. Oh, yeah. That fits. It's sort of. I'm looking at my iPad and then... <laughs> yeah, it lags. <laughs> <laughs> and then I've got a... As long as you guys you want sneak peeks because you're here with me live, I just painted this yesterday. So this is going to go up, I think it's Friday, September 3rd. Sorry, I keep moving it down. Isn't that pretty? Oh, and I'll have to... Well, I'll tell you guys because you're here. I used a um, makeup brush to do the leaves. Isn't that fun? You never sent me a picture of that one. No, I usually do, but I didn't last <laughs> night. All right, one more, and I'll be done. One more. One more. Here's another fun one I think you'll like. Um, I'm calling it Hey Susans. <laughs> and it's a 6x6 six six canvas panel like the one I'm giving away, but I've got it in a little frame. I don't know how to hold it. Okay, that was, that was way more commercials, but now that I'm relaxing, I'm getting excited. I'm not quite so nervous for our, our major goof. Notice I say our major goof when it's a goof. <laughs> yeah, you can make it a, if it makes you feel better, you can make it a joint goof. <laughs> <laughs> it's a joint goof. All right, I'm going to put some green here just so I remember. And this green is really um, transparent. It's going to take a couple coats. <laughs> I really went heavy with the commercials there. I think it was the super chats got me all excited. <laughs> I can't believe we have seven or we had seven. You have 10 right now. Oh my gosh. Well, and they can watch the replay. Actually, maybe they don't want to watch the <laughs> replay because <laughs> the camera was upside down. It was working. It was just upside down. And I'm like, what? I may need to bring my arm over for you. Well, we can move it. Well, but for could, to, it, that's in like a good spot for your normal video. So we could just, I could bring my arm over and then we can just basically put that arm, my arm where um, the camera is now. So we don't have to, it won't, and it won't have like that long leg on it. So you don't have to worry about that. Oh, so I'm not straddling a leg? Yes. <laughs> yeah. You know, really, we need another camera. Um, Gramps, I, I was saying before we went live, Gramps offered a computer camera with a mic. It'd be kind of funny to have it back there showing me standing all kitty wampus. <laughs> Just so, thank you, Dad. That's so nice. I'm just grabbing a little white to make it a little bit more opaque. So I can hear Emily kind of laugh. I don't know if she just read something in the chat. Oh, no. I was just laughing at you. Oh, just laughing at me. Yeah. It's weird to watch. I, so I'm, I'm, I can't see what you're doing. So I'm. You're watching. watching but you're, I can tell that you're, um, what you're saying lags versus what I can see by like two seconds. Oh, it's like really bad subtitles or. Yeah. Or off. I mean, it's not like that for anybody else, but. No. It's just interesting because you'll be like, I, I'm going to grab a little green. And then all of a sudden your hand's over grabbing green like four seconds later. Well, you said um, Bonita was in the chat. I, mm -hmm. I recognize her from YouTube. Are the, the names easy enough to take a stab at, or did I just throw you under the bus because the names are hard to read or hard to say? It only shows me, let's see here. Actually, I can probably see who's in the chat. Actually, I probably can't. I think they have to send oh. a chat in the chat for me. Oh, they have to say something, mm -hmm. of course. Yeah, so Bonita, she was here right before we started because I saw the I'm so excited for you Annie. I right? see an adorable I think. Yeah that's also the that's also from Bonita. <laughs> yeah. Aww. I think that was during the the panic. The panic? The great panic. The of, pandemic panic. Yeah. Oh. Oh man painting 
so I brought the pandemic, which is not a, it's just awful. But painting has just saved me. Gives me something to, fo oh, on YouTube, it gives me something to focus on. I can connect with other people. It's just been wonderful. You don't quite feel so isolated. Um, I'm vaccinated now, so that's wonderful. Although it's, you know, I haven't watched the news much, but it sounds like it's really spiking around the country. Oh, you know what? You can tell I'm going into my more putsy pa painting mode. I have slowed down. <laughs> I've really slowed down. I don't think we'll get this done today. We'll post... I don't think I can post a photo. Oh yeah, I can. I can post a photo in the community tab on YouTube of the finished. Mm -hmm. And then I'll post it on Facebook too, for sure. And if you don't get far enough and we, and you finish it off camera, we could just do like a fast couple minute time lapse video and post it. Oh yeah, we could do that too. Just tack it on. Mm -hmm. okay. It'd be a quick guy, so. You know, that green isn't as strong as I thought. I thought I was gonna like the green up here. It's definitely gonna take a couple of coats, but I think I'll just get some on mm -hmm. so we can see what we're thinking. Oh yeah, that's drying. I could go back to that. We could work on the cat. You know what, this is where I could ask, what should I work on next? Maybe I should work on the cat a little bit. Just kind of keep everything moving. My eyes will need a coat. Am I okay? Oh, I'm, I'm turned funny. It's not too bad. I'm like painting over the top of it. If it's more comfortable for it to be turned, I, I think you're okay. Well, I'm thinking if it's like, here, I'm going to completely turn it. <laughs> if it's like um, other YouTube artists I've watched, people are hanging out in the chat and they get to know each other. Mm -hmm. Not right away, but eventually. And then they're not even watching the paint. Well, they're watching the painting, but, you know, they're not painting along. They're not. They're mostly just having a good time hanging out, which I assume will, will be how it works for us. Well, time will tell. Okay, we'll give them another ride here. <laughs> it's like going to the, to the fair. It is fair season. I bet Chase was laughing. Oh, yeah, I'll hear about it when I get home. <laughs> we're laughing. I think we'll get the eyes in there because we're going to make the eyes yellow. Oh, here, we're going to make the nose. Oh, I almost need a smaller brush. So it can be easier to paint larger. This is a little, oh, I don't think I said, this is a little 5 by 7 canvas from Michaels. Um, Michaels doesn't, they're not a sponsor or anything. I just, there's a store close. I get a senior discount, which I love. They have great coupons. You know, all the above is why I talk about and buy a lot of art supplies from them. It's convenient for me. Just getting another coat on while I'm thinking of it. Well, things have calmed down. I hope things are good for you guys. I think our heart rates have calmed down a little bit. <laughs> Uh, hopefully when I laugh it's not too loud. That'll be one thing we'll definitely need to check and listen back to the, the replay. It's cute. It is cute. Oh, here. I could do this. Get this over here. I like buried my supplies, <laughs> my notes. I was really good with the commercials. Though. I think that's kind of funny. Oh, here we're gonna. See, I'm, what I'm thinking is, there's white in the e or pink in the ears. We need to get. Oops, my brush was a little wet, so I just offloaded it. Oh, um, that's gonna be a black cat, I assume. Yeah. I think yesterday Chase told me that yesterday was National Black Cat Day. Oh, well, see, we knew what we were doing. So, yeah, even though this was planned weeks in advance, <laughs> we um, knew. Gosh, almost a month because I was nervous. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't post. I didn't post anything about mango. So I'm gonna put a little. Oh, 
I'm not the neatest painter on the planet. I'm a little worried about stuff being wet. I don't trust it. Well, maybe we'll grab some straight up black and put the top of the ear on. Just so I don't lose my, I call it my roadmap when I use a traceable. And I use it, I don't always use a traceable like in the uh, yellow tree landscape painting. Um, you get to see me sketch it out with a little chalk pastel and then just paint it. Um, but with pet portraits, I, I blow up a big photo and make a traceable out of it every time. It takes some, it helps me, it takes some of the pressure off. Um, it can get lost, especially like I just did a set of three 16 by 20 pet portraits. And it helps keep me from getting lost, losing features, because their family knows where every freckle, <laughs> every, you know, which tooth is crooked, if they're smiling. Um, you don't have to get them that exact, but it's, it really helps if you get some of those features that the family really knows. Oops. So my paint wasn't totally dry, and I pulled it up with my hand someplace right here. I can tell I'm trying to think. And then my voice gets quieter. My feet haven't moved since we started. <laughs> Do you, I can adjust again? No, I don't. I, so you can. I think I'm just scared. <laughs> <laughs> I just there. I just move my foot a little. Okay. <laughs> I just thought maybe that would be kind of funny for them to hear. <laughs> oh, I started asking you if they're. Oh yeah, you can't see them unless they comment. Um, and they don't. No pressure to comment. It's you know if you want to just hang out and watch and listen, that's totally cool. You know, I have to remember if we keep it this way, to paint left or right. Mm -hmm. I wanted to paint the pumpkin first to get color down, but then I ended up pulling it up because it... Acrylic paint dries pretty quick to the touch, but it doesn't cure, gosh, even for a week sometimes. It depends on the humidity. You know, it just depends on how thick. Just like with an oil painting, it depends on how thick. I really don't. I'm just kind of watching the values. I really am not too concerned right now. But I'm also thinking, you know, the light's coming from this side. Okay. At least we kind of get that in there before. Because, oh gosh, we're already at 1240. I think I might go back and work on the pumpkin. I'm pretty sure my battery will last, <laughs> but you know, you know how technology is. Oops. Okay, so I could either make both my eyes smaller. Sorry guys, I hope that isn't too annoying, but it's easier for me to work up against the edge than it is to try and make it work so that you see it right side up. Oh, my voice is getting a little rough. I might grab a drink. We just fixed it. All right. I wonder if anybody wants what they want me to paint next since we're going to run out of time at some point. I think you should get some orange on the pumpkin. Okay. I'm also going to try to... All right. Try quick. <laughs> Grab a drink quick. I bet you can hear me swallow. I've got the microphone pretty close. <laughs> <laughs> We're learning. I'm learning. Okay, let's get... I'm going to take straight up orange. It should be pretty transparent. I'm going to work left to right. And see, it's even streaky. I don't know if you can see that on camera. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, it shows, but it's not quite. Yeah, it won't. Yeah. It it won't cover. It's going to take a couple. Everything is going to take a couple coats. And then I'm just going to instead of maybe mixing, I'll be quicker if I just grab. Oh, that was a lot of yellow. I'll give give Jack. Should we call this Jack as a jack o' lantern? A little glow here. And you could use a bigger brush, but I'm also going to paint around things a little bit. Oh, you know what? You could paint over. Let's just paint right over it. And come back and I'm gonna go to a bigger brush. Go back to that little filbert. It's about a quarter inch. There isn't a right or a wrong brush, it's the one you're comfortable with. For some reason I want to hold that. I don't know why I want to hold that with my finger. Oh, the background, I started to say I used um ultramarine blue and black on the top half above the horizon line and then just black and white below. And then I came back with some uh, prism violet and a little matte medium and just glazed some yellow and some purple over the top. Makes kind of a fun little moon glow effect. The moon is mostly titanium white, a little gray, uh, some unbleached titanium. If you have it, you can mix just a pinch of burnt umber and maybe a pinch of yellow to make a cream color. And then I just took um, some Naples yellow and glazed around it. That's one of the things I really like about acrylics, just the glazing. And it dries quick. Even though I pulled up there, pulled up, sounds like I pulled up in a car, the paint pulled up, and now it's light or darker than I want it. They dry darker, but they, do, they dry quick. So now I'm going to get myself in trouble. Because I'm trying to paint the pumpkin and I'm going to have wet paint right there. Emily's trying not to laugh, I think. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, you know, it's already working. I'm getting a shadow because it's transparent. Sort of easy shadow and then it is going to cover better. Oops, and hide the background. You can see a little bit of my moon still because I rushed it a little bit. See what I'm talking about right there? You can see a little line where the moon is. I'll just take more coats. I think YouTube painting videos are great, and I do time lapses myself, but it does, it is misleading about how fast the artist paints. And it, no matter how much I tell you or say, hey, I, you know, this took me three hours, you really don't get a sense until you sit here and watch me putts over orange. There's no rush. This is a fun thing. Although I'm trying to rush to make it more interesting for you guys. I'm going to grab a smidge of white. And just see if I can cover this a little better. And then we'll let it dry and I can come back a little bit with my raw sienna and orange or just cover it with more orange. If I don't like that, I can see the seam of the moon coming through. This is definitely a video of like, do more like I say, not as I'm doing. <laughs> what time is it, Em? It is 12.45 on the dot. Oh my gosh. I can't believe how fast that went. If you want to, I'm good on time, so whatever you want to do. You know, it would have been simpler not to do a jack-o'-lantern than just do a pumpkin, because then I'm not going around mm -hmm. so many things. But I don't, I, I did it more for the traceable than the video, if that makes any sense. I'm going to take a brush and just kind of clean that off. 
Yeah, little, little art tip. That's what's nice about acrylic too, it'll dry enough, tack up enough, you can just clean up. I assume people would want to try the traceable. Well, and then hopefully, well not hopefully, I plan on when I finish it and get it looking prettier, um, I'll scan it into my computer and send it to my agent and license it. It would be a cute garden flag. Cute greeting card, maybe. Okay, that's actually changing the color of it there. Well, I don't know how, I, here, maybe I can, I'm still standing with my feet glued to the floor. <laughs> Every time I look back, you you haven't moved an inch. Yeah, I'm like, because, well, I'm already wiggling my art table wiggles. One of these days, you know, it won't be long. Instead of saying one of these days, we're going to just do really well and we'll be able to afford, you know, a whole studio set up for YouTube. But isn't that slick how I have the same color in my brush and I already have a highlight? I think that's kind of neat. Oh, but you can tell it's wet there? It's wanting to blend. <laughs> it's it's got a it's got a should we say a dimple oh, yeah, instead of a, a pimple? A, he's got a beauty mark. He's got a dimple instead of a, a pimple. Dimple. We'll say. Yeah. <laughs> it is inverted, not. That's true. It is. Big word there, inverted. Oh, that is cute. Cute, cute. Oh, you know what? I might grab a little. Rossi and a little orange. Rossi and is quite transparent too. Okay, guys, I'm gonna flip. Doing flips. <laughs> the only thing about these lives is people. I mean, you kind of know I'm a little crazy in the videos, M, but it's really showing now. What I think it's funny is I I I laugh at you or like I chuckle at you while I'm editing the video, but now it's <laughs> live, so. Oh, you were doing that. Anyway? So everyone gets to hear when I like mom I giggle at you like that's my mom now you can be embarrassed in person huh oh no comment I thought I'd get a comment at her I'm sorry I was watching I was watching you paint but <laughs> well you know it is no. relaxing we're both calming down I can feel the yeah. room the vibe in the room is way better people mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the vibe in the room was sheer panic <laughs> like before no. why is it upside down someone tell me why <laughs> the phone was supposed to tell me why it was upside down i did not i i still don't get it i think you get it though so. i get it but yeah, it's okay. okay we'll we'll figure it out after I'll grab a little rossi in here so if I you think want we just tested the live um when we were checking for sound and if the two mics worked, we were testing for. Um, I never thought we needed. You to were do. using face the face or the front facing, weren't you? Probably, and we didn't test the back cam at all. Right. Yeah. Right, and I just didn't think we needed to because it'd be just like the videos I mm -hmm. do. I didn't think we had. We're gonna have. I assumed. You know what they say about assuming. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> Freckles is back. I yeah, can she's see back. Her. She's gonna start yelling at me. She's like, what's going on? She's wondering why I'm here. Emily hasn't worked here for a long time. Why is Emily here? Yeah, see, I'm getting like little lift ups because I'm rushing it. I might dry it with a hair dryer if I wasn't, you know. I figure we already took you for a ride. We don't need to blast your ears out. <laughs> <laughs> Just... We can mute, and I can mute for you if you want. No, okay. you know what? I think the learning curve is enough that we should just stay right where we are. Okay. Give it a couple flaps, you know? also do that. Okay, that is looking cute. Mm -hmm. I have a little dent, but not too much, and I don't know if I want to worry about it. Do we want to... Oh, yeah, we have ten, technically 10 minutes before I was going to get off air. Should I put in a little of the candy corn nose? Even though I definitely would, I will, would more, will work more on the on the pumpkin itself. Yep, there she is. Hi, Freckle. Oh, and then my brush was dirty. Can you see the little hunk of junk? I'm about to get a cat friend. 
Is she going to lay over your microphone on your shirt? Maybe. She's asking you to come up in my lap. Why? I don't care. I think we've had enough issues that, you know, I think we've already lost our audience, you know. <laughs> I, I don't think we can go too wrong now. I'm going to make this just a smidge orange, maybe, for a shadow. And then maybe a little white and yellow. Yeah, this is really weird. I'm looking over my phone onto my palette. A little highlight. That's not really showing. It needs more coats. Well, and it would be more efficient to paint all one color in one brush. You know, use the biggest brush you can and then paint it. Um, I'm just trying to get more of a cute painting going here. Do we have anybody left? Yeah, you have eight people watching. <laughs> oh, yay. Thank you, people. If you give this one a try, let me know. I would love to know. Um, my, my art is copyrighted. You can paint all the ones you want. You can give them away. You just can't sell them. The goat that I did. What did I end up calling the goat? I can't remember. Oh, Daisy? So, Daisy, that's right. Thank you. No I'm putting a little burnt sienna for a shadow here. Um, it was actually... Uh, person on YouTube asked me if I would do a goat. Um, I think they wanted a Nubian goat. And then I, she keeps meowing. <laughs> and then I set up a traceable. We might have to lock her out. Another thing we just learned, lock the cat out. Freckles is definitely president and CEO of my business. What she says goes. We don't have a choice. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with the goat thought. Oh, I'll, I guess I t I'll take suggestions. I'll take requests. I mean, I can't do everything. Mm -hmm. I don't do people. I could do people, but I don't do people. Because then if I do one, then someone's going to want a portrait. And then they're going to not like that their one ear is lower than their other ear. And then it gets to be a whole thing. And I just, I'm not going to. Oh, you know what? I'm not thinking. It's sometimes better to lighten up with yellow than it is with white. So I, now I have a cool candy corn, which is totally, totally fine. But you might like it better. Oh, it's trying to dry on me. If you lighten it up with a little yellow, make it a little richer, a little warmer. Fun! Chase, Chase sent um, a little goat emoji in the chat. <laughs> Thank you, Chase. I'm thrilled we have people. Mm -hmm. We have Emily, nine people. We have people. Nine people, and I'm pretty sure, I'll have to ask Chase, but I'm pretty sure Frickle meowed directly into my mic. <laughs> so. <laughs> we, have, we have three people who work for this little adventure here. <laughs> if you count Freckles as a people. Freckles is definitely a people. She thinks she is. She's th yeah, she thinks she's a people. Yeah, my gosh. Is she 15? She is, yeah, she's 10 years well, I guess when we got her, they gave us like a range. I think we chose the over rather than the under because I thought they she they thought she was between one and two, and I was twelve. Yeah. No. So, well, I don't remember any of that. I just remember let's just say she's ten years younger yeah. than you. Yeah. Because it was way easier than. Yeah. So she's probably like fifteen. Yeah. I mean, yeah, we don't know. Yeah. She's kind of. She's gonna get mad. She's kind of looking <laughs> like she's fifteen. <laughs> she's not gonna like that. But it's a little revenge for her chewing on my brushes and interrupting our live. I turned off the devices. I turned off my phone. You can't turn off the cat, though. I, <laughs> you can't turn off the cat chewing on the brush. We could, um, I could lock or I could shut my door. Of course, you still might hear her meowing. She'll out. cry. Yeah. yeah. She'll cry. Oh, darn it. I had too wet of a brush. I also think this is good, like, oh, how does, I mean, how many mistakes have I made trying to talk and paint? You see me fixing them. You know, it's always, acrylic is forgiving and fixable, even if it's thick. I mean, you might have to sand down the texture or just work with the texture, but it's 
fixable. Oh, shoot, I'm gonna grab a little white. I'm not liking, well, am I on camera? Oops, I'm also crooky. Yeah. Is crooky a technical term? Yes. I hope everybody, like, it's not going to be lunchtime for everybody, but it's lunchtime for us. I hope they brought, you know, a sandwich. I suppose if it's noon, you could bring a, bring wine. <laughs> Have wine with your lunch. Paint and sip Paint and sip. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, I didn't even say, because, uh, you know, we were, I was, I'm not nervous now. I was nervous to go <laughs> live. Um, I want, I'm, we're thinking of doing this on Wednesdays. I think right now it's going to be every other Wednesday. Um, I think we have a little research and education to do, um, testing. But um, I want to call it Wednesdays Friends Days because I always say, hey, friends. And I say, hey, friends, because Emily, I was, I don't know exactly when, but I was like, I don't know what to say. And I say something different every time. And I think Emily came up with it. Is that right, Em? I don't know. I think you I, did. Maybe. I love it. I think I just suggested you just need one solid thing. One to solid say. thing. <laughs> Hi, people. Hi. Yeah. Yeah, be consistent. So I'm just putting more layers on because the yellow is so transparent. I'm just putting more white on. All right, let's go back. And if it blends, it doesn't really matter if the paint's wet. I just put another. Okay, so I, I video myself quite a bit. If I'm really not aware how long it takes me to paint something. Mm -hmm. And we're an hour in, I can't quite focus. Um, three minutes from an hour, but I mean, you really didn't start painting Yeah. for right away, because we struggled. But I also don't, I mean, other artists do, but I'm not sure that I want to do a three hour live. That's just, I don't know. I, well, then it's gonna take eight hours to upload. You know? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't... I don't know how long it takes. I don't know if it's already kind of, like, working on it. Because it... I don't know. Especially going from your phone, I don't really know. No, I don't think it's already working on yeah. it. Yeah. Just from what I saw when we did the tests. So what's kind of nice here is you can go over your lines. Because it barely shows on that dark orange. You don't have to be quite as neat of a painter. I never did mix my orange in my haste. So make it mix an orange yellow. I, don't know, well, I suppose we'll just see what people want, and then we'll see what we're actually able to do. Mm -hmm. That's looking cute. You know what? Too is the video. Um, oh, there, my watch went off. It's been an hour. Um, the video smooths it out too. Here, I don't know if. Can I see? Well, all oh, right. It does smooth it out. Yeah, yeah, but it's not too far <laughs> off. You know. No, the video always, that's why sometimes I'll pick it up even when I'm videoing and lift it up and like do a screenshot or something. So now I could go back and paint more color than what I've got here. Or I could, should I work on the hat for a little bit and then we'll call it quits? I guess I'm asking Emily because I don't know if Emily's going to respond in the um, chat. I mean, it's up to you. Um, if you, yeah, you could work on the hat. You could give that kitty some eyeballs. Um. <laughs> Just like a little. He looks a little like little, ghostly, like little, a little. <laughs> I kind of like it. it looks kind of. Like, if you can both be cute and scary at yeah, the same like, time. Yeah, he looks a little haunted without his pupils. <laughs> I know some people don't like it when um, the artist and the person helping the artist chat. But I tell you, it's been a huge help for me. sort of like learning to walk. I, I've said this in my other videos, walk, talk, and chew bubblegum. That also shows my age. All right, so shall we? I kind of want to put more white in those eyeballs. Let's put some yellow, see if it covers. Let it dry, and then we'll put some eyeballs in. I think the it really helped once you started that nose on the jack-o'-lantern. He started to... Starts to come to life. Yeah. Well, and I can go back in. I could leave, whoops. I could leave some of the overpainting on the mouth or I could come back and come back and just put some darker ones mm -hmm. in here and there and leave some of them lighter. That's why paintings like this would easily take me five hours to seven hours to do. I'm pretty much an hour an inch. 
I am not fast, but I like going back and adding the layers. I like getting those colors real here, really saturated. I don't know if that shows up, but they're really, I don't know how many layers I, you'll have to see the video when it comes out, uh, Friday, September 3rd, I think it is. Just the layers. I think it looks yummy. It's like, as long as the paint will do it, take advantage of it. So I don't think the yellow is going to make it look any better. It's going to look more zombie. <laughs> is this mango? It can be. It looks a little, that looks like early mango. Like fresh from the Humane Society mango. <laughs> My daughter has a black cat and a, and a brown tabby. Mango's the black cat because the eyes are huge, round. They're round eyes on a cat. And uh, they look like mango color. They're a little more orange than this. Can we mm -hmm. let that dry? Let's see if we can do the. Should we just stick a little pink nose on it? So you have to say it. You have to talk like that when you do something little. <laughs> Grab a smidge of white. We'll blend right on the nose. Cute, 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 cute. All right, those eyeballs need to dry. Here. Of course, I get nervous because I'm going to drag my hand over. Oh, I'm still crooked. I keep forgetting to the right like that, Em. Uh, yeah, you're a little straighter. It's but I, now you're kind of crooked the other way, but it's fine, because you're... Oh, I am. I went a little too far. I think if that's comfortable for you to paint, it's... No, I was just trying to get it straight for people. Of course, it's been crooked this whole time. <laughs> yeah, I'm really wanting to... We'll figure it out. I should just grab a smidge of white and see how that looks. Nope, wasn't enough. Oh, I wonder if people can hear the fans. Maybe if somebody doesn't mind commenting. I uh, turn the air down because my studio gets hot. And then there's a fan that blows into this room and then there's a fan that blows down the hall. Chase is probably gone. I bet we're open in a window. I was going to ask him if he can hear the fans. Well, no. We can always... Yeah, actually, we'll, we'll we, find out. <laughs> we can always listen to the... We're going to learn a lot. Or we already have learned a lot. So you can see I'm not that steady either. I'm hoping some of those... I'm not like putting myself down is just how it is. I like to push. Sometimes you need to thin out your paint and how do you know when it's not flowing off your brush like you'd like? So I grabbed a little water. It also isn't going to be totally smooth because I'm on a canvas and I didn't put any more than the background color on. But if you pull in little strokes, it can look a little smoother. The mics help with the fans. Oh, yeah. Our outside source says. Oh, thank you, outside source. <laughs> it's Chase. <laughs> I think I called him Chase Man on the live. Now, I, if I haven't, they hadn't, I just did. You, you did. You did. <laughs> I bet he's just dying. Hey, it's just like learning to paint. It takes a little bit of bravery to try something new. Right? That's not going to show much. So what I could do, if I wanted this shadow part of the hat to show more, maybe I'll just do it. I don't know if, actually if I want to do it, but maybe I'll just show you guys since I brought it up. When that dries, just take, um, I've moved everything around. I don't know where my matte medium went. You could take a little water and white and then just kind of glaze around it and lighten up the background. Bonita said you can hear the fans, but they're not annoying. Oh, thank you, Bonita. 
Well, pretty soon it'll be fall. Let me just have the one. Was that freckles? Yeah, she's chewing on my keys. <laughs> well, at least you know we're not like, you know, I don't know. I think it's kind of nice to know we're just regular people. We're not polished. <laughs> you know. Oh, I bet, or she's rubbing on my bag. I bet she smells the cats. Oh, <gasps> she probably smells she probably, her cats. Yeah, she's yeah. scenting my belongings. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You don't live here. Mm -mm. She has to claim me now. We're we're videoing in your old bedroom. You have eleven people watching. Oh wow! Hi, welcome to my studio. We're learning how to do a live. This is our first one. <laughs> Please forgive us. You missed the the really wild ride at the beginning, so no worries. You know, there's a traceable on my website if you want to paint this. I don't think I'm going to, I keep saying I'm going to quit soon. I'm just trying to estimate in my mind, you know, how long it's going to take to upload. How much battery life I have, that kind of stuff. But it was pretty exciting, too, in the beginning, if you do want to watch the replay. <laughs> It's the limited replay because it won't, we'll probably edit that part out. Oh, are once. you? I keep thinking we'll just upload it. We can. It. I think it's like seven minutes of fuddling, though. <laughs> so we might, if we don't, you know, watch time is about, I bet people skip through videos. So it's about. Oh. So they could either skip through it or we'll just lose them right away. You know what? We'll edit it out because we'll lose them right away because it's, it's way too many minutes of craziness. Yeah. All right. So some of you got to see it and. You know, it was a once-in-a-lifetime event, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully it won't happen again. So I've got a little too much water in my brush, and it's not covering very well. Coats, layers. Okay, I want to angle it a little bit this way. She says to herself, oh, except for I want to turn it so I can... I like to work against the edge and pull... Well, at least it's nice that we're doing this little 5 by 7 I mean, it's not showing up the best, but it gave us room to adjust on the fly. And you can see it doesn't blend very well. Um, I mean, I could. I could, um, you know, maybe a different brush. But a lot of times it's just, just how it goes. Um, I think people get stressed out because it dries quick and it's not blending the way they want. Oops, you know what? I missed something. Oh, it goes here. Part of my traceable disappeared. There, it goes like that, doesn't it? Um, I just don't worry about it. I, I like a little bit of paintbrush look, and then I can always smooth it out. You know, just let it dry. Like here with my dimple, I still didn't wait long enough. Just let it dry, and then you can come back and adjust. Some people like oil paints because it just is so, so slow drying, and then you can blend and blend and blend. But I don't want to wait. Gosh, if you've got a fairly thick oil painting, I don't want to wait six months for it to be completely dry. And then the oils do break down. Different oils are better than others, but I just don't want to mess with the chemicals and all that. It's not my cup of tea. Might be yours. I love some oil painters can do some really gorgeous stuff. I love that. Okay, so I went a little gray there because I'm going to go black. Sorry, guys. I hope that isn't driving you crazy. Keep flipping it. I want it black here. Here, I'll show you. I had a little, I did a little uh, color sketch so that I can. Uh, if I'm talking and I get lost, I can look it over to my right and figure out what I intended. What do you think, Emily? Should we quit? Um, it is 1.10. Okay. <laughs> it, just, it just depends how long you want to paint. We didn't really like discuss a an official time 
constraint. Well, I did. I wanted to stay. I was just going to do an okay. hour. Well, mm -hmm. if you want to, all I want to see is you just put a little dot of eyeballs on that cat. And oh, I'm, yeah. I was letting that dry. Me. Thank you. I always save my palette when I'm done with a painting. Um, I'll definitely save this one because I will forget the eyeballs. And I'll come into my studio the next day and go, oh, <laughs> I need eyeballs. Let's get a little water drop there. So just pulling. Um, I think nicer brushes do, brushes do help. But really, I'm a, more of a fan of student grade or better paint. Because I think if the paint's real chalky, it could drive even more crazy than a brush. But that's that might not be everybody. I know it's not everybody's opinion. That might not be your experience. I'm just going to paint this solid black and let it dry and then figure out if I want to add any. I might add a little highlight here. And we'll get those eyeballs in there. So it really helps if I don't talk or I do little itty bitty areas. You know what? I don't really like that those eyes aren't that yellow. Should I just put the eyeballs in anyway? Well, if you oh, don't they like look them, pretty. We can wait. I'm sorry, I talked over you. Oh no, no. If you if you don't if they're not ready for the the pupil, you can wait. Well, and we can always paint around too. So now I just checked my sketch. Or the traceable to see what those eyeballs look like. Ooh, actually that could be better than what I did on the traceable. Do we like that? Or is it too skinny? No, I don't think so. It reminds me of the, like, a cat clock. Yeah, those old <laughs> Felix the cat. So you can tell who's 57 and who's not. She's now, now it's like, okay, stop, stop playing it, playing with it. Oh, dang it, I just got a little longer. I just, I'm sort of a not so nice word, too. Can't say bad words on YouTube. <laughs> I'm gonna quit. So, if you made a mistake, you could skinny it up with white, come back with some yellow to fix it. I didn't know Emily laughed at me so much when she edits. I think it's a, I don't think that's a bad thing. I'm laughing with you, not yeah, at you. It's not at me. Yeah. No. No. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Now do, I almost wonder if I'm kind of squirrely because of all that stress in the beginning. That was a pretty good pull there. You can tell him. Oh, yeah, that was. Yeah. Tell him relaxing. Oh, some of that. Um, so I talk to new acrylic painters because if you're not new, you you know, you, you already know what you like to do. But there, I mean, just learning to get you comfort, comfortable, blah, speaking, you no, know, comfortable with a brush and then figuring out what you want to do and how you want to move the paint around. I mean, that just takes practice. It's a little bit like. Um, I used to golf. It's a little bit like, you know, taking your putter out on the practice green and putting lots of golf balls. Kind of get the feel for how it is when you hit the ball and how much oomph you need to get the ball in the hole, all that kind of stuff. It's really the same thing. Okay, that's cute. I think mm -hmm. we'll quit here. Yeah. It's done enough. I mean, I will finish it. We'll... Um, tack on some time-lapse video, I think, because I'll just listen to daughter instead of argue with her. I always argue with her, and she's like 90% of the time right. <laughs> like, why do I argue? I've been arguing for how many years, you know? Long time. At least since I could talk, yeah. Yeah, long time. <laughs> well, thank you, thank you, thank you for the super chats. Uh, keep an eye out for the giveaway coming up this Friday on Facebook. If you want to win the 6x6 Queen Anne's Lace and Little Teeny Bumblebee 
painting. I super appreciate your support. I, I really appreciate your patience. <laughs> Great, I don't, how am I gonna hug? There's so many wires and things. Great, <laughs> great big happy art hugs. And I hope to chat with you guys soon.